This video will be showing you how to do a long tail cast on. So you'll just need your needles and your yarn. Now there's two ways that you can start this and you can start it by making a slip knot. So the easiest way to make a slip knot is to wrap it around your two fingers and then pull it through the loop and tighten it. And then you pull up on your two strings to make it the size to fit your needle. And there's your slip knot. I prefer not to have a slip knot. Sometimes this knot here can be noticeable in the end. So you take the tail end of your yarn and you put that in the back. Put your needle underneath. Bring the tail yarn to the front and the one connected to the ball in the back. And you cross them while making your loop on your needle. So once you either have your loop like this or your slip stitch, you're going to put the ball yarn over your index finger. So you just gather the rest with your three, wrap it around your front, your index finger. Then you're going to also grab the tail from the tail yarn and slide it over your thumb. So you should be holding the slip knot up here on your needle wrapped around your finger and then gathered down in the palm of your hand. So after you have this set up, then you're going to take your position and pull down on your needle, creating a V shape. You're going to bring your needle through the first loop on your thumb. Swing it around and grab the loop by your index finger and pull it back through the loop on your thumb. Then you're going to drop your thumb, pick it back up around, and tighten it up on your needle. And that's how you cast on. So then you reposition your yarn so you make sure that the ball yarn is around your index finger, the tail yarn is around your thumb, gather them in the palm of your hand, you can st um, steady the stitch with your right hand on your needle, pull your needle down to create a V shape. Then you're going to go pick up the first loop on your thumb, swing around and grab the one on your index finger, and pull it back through the loop on your thumb. Drop your thumb and tighten your yarn to make your stitch. And you want to make sure that you can move it on your needle with ease, but also it's not too loose and you definitely don't want it too tight. So then you just repeat that process and that is how you would use the long tail cast on method. So just remember the first loop on your thumb around to the index finger and back through the loop drop and tighten. And this is the cast on method that I like the best. There are a few different ones out there and this is the one that I like the most out of all of them. Of course, as you keep knitting, you'll figure out which one you prefer and how you like to do it, whether it's with the slip knot or the wrap method that I showed. And you just keep casting on like this till you get the right amount of stitches that you need for your project. So I hope this was helpful and you learned how to work the long tail cast on.